I'm Robert Estrin here at livingpianos.com. The question today is, what do dampers do on a piano? Well, you all know that the hammers hit the strings, but on top you have dampers. The dampers are actually responsible for ending a note. So you play a note on a piano, the damper comes up, and then when you let go of the note, the damper goes down to end the note. Now you may notice that on the piano, when you press the sustain pedal, that's the pedal on the right, all the dampers are released. So all the notes you play are free to vibrate. What you might not know is that the middle pedal is a selective hold pedal. So if you play certain notes, like a chord, press the middle pedal and let go of the hand, those notes will continue to hold but no other notes will hold. That's the secret of what the sustenuto pedal does, the middle pedal. Now, interesting thing about the dampers is that when you release the dampers with the sustain pedal on the right, when all the dampers are up, it makes the tone echo inside the piano. So you can actually release the dampers and sing into the piano and listen to how the sound reverberates. Ah. And I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it's loud and clear here. Now, the important thing is not for party games like that, but to enhance the tone selectively in a melody. So if you play a note with the pedal down, you get more of an echoey sound than you do with the pedal up because the dampers are all released. But generally speaking, the dampers either do their job or they don't. Either the notes end or they don't end. If you've ever had a piano where notes hang up, after you release your hand from the piano, that is because of damper problems. Dampers can be regulated, but if the felt gets very old and hard, you can regulate it to so much and you'll get buzzes and noises when you release the notes to end them. They won't end with a smooth sound. So that is something where damper felt is critical. You want to have good fresh damper felt. Sometimes older felt will be fine. Sometimes it gets hard and will not do its job well. So, Damp damper regulation is just a matter of making notes end appropriately. Like on this piano, if I play a chord and release it slowly, it's absolutely dead quiet. You don't get any buzzing noises or anything because everything's regulated beautifully. And I strive to have all my pianos, dampers, regulated to that very high degree because it does make a difference when you're playing a melody and you end a phrase, you don't want to hear some noise or an extraneous note hang on after you've lifted up your hands. Another thing you may have noticed is that there are no dampers on the highest notes of the piano. You may wonder, is that a mistake? Well, the fact is the notes up here end so quickly anyway that you don't need dampers. The notes are gone anyway. Now, when you get to the highest, the first note that has no damper, on a piano like this that has such big sustain, it lasts a very long time. So there's no way you can end that note any sooner <laughs> on a piano. The dampers end at different points on different pianos. Um, most pianos, the first note without a damper is the second to highest E, as it is in this piano. But some pianos have dampers even higher than that. That's it for dampers. Any other questions? I'm Robert Estrin at livingpianos.com. Thanks for joining me.